what was it attracted you about him? Well, I think probably the biggest thing is you look at some of the teams and how they're they're playing that are going deep into the playoffs. And a spread four is really important, number one. And then the other thing is you have to have four guys that can make plays. And we thought Yang is really one of the best playmakers in college basketball. They pick and pop him. They give him the ball. He makes a lot of assists. Uh, he can shoot it. And when he had the workout here, we really put him in those positions. And, uh, and we thought very highly of him. We didn't think he'd get to 50. We had him a lot higher on the board than, uh, than 50. So we were pretty excited that he got to 50. The knock against him is athleticism. Is that a concern for you? Um, you know, the game is athletic. But I think he's always gotten by and been successful because he's super crafty. And guys can do that. There's My boss is pretty crafty, too. And um, he actually said we were going to draft a Boston guy. So he's a Boston guy, and we were going to draft him. But he's super crafty. He, he knows how to use his body. He's got the spin moves. He, he does all that. And he, he, he knows how to be in the right position on the defense, too. So he's, we needed that. At the end of the year, we said, God, we, we, we need to really improve, improve our overall uh, team IQ. And, and so that was something we wanted to get accomplished with 50. You know, overall for the day, we feel great. We really do. Getting, get, getting Georgie was something we really wanted to do. There was a couple guys on the board still, and we were surprised, but Georgie was the guy we wanted. Georgie, a guy you see more geared towards the mad ends, or do you, can you see him sticking? No, I wouldn't the... say that. I think that he can get in our rotation. Um, you know, he's he's been successful in college. Uh, a lot of times, people will look at analytics and say, um, you know, go for the younger player. We've never believed that. We've we've drafted guys that have gone on four years and had successful uh, careers and. You know, his game translates because he can shoot and make plays. And teams that are successful right now put four guys and sometimes five guys that can make plays. And he can make plays. He's a point forward that way. We're excited about that, being able to pick and pop him. And you'll see it in the summer league. And, you know, he's going to compete for minutes. We don't see him just as a, a guy that's going to the D League. No, we, we think he'll compete for minutes. Kevin, I know workouts over here. I know workouts aren't the be all end all, but you had Georgie in here against some bigger guys and Diallo and Bryce Johnson and Zizic. Did you take anything away or learn anything from watching him match up with those guys? Yeah, we, we figured that he's a pretty good player. He's, uh, again, you know, the, the big thing for us was, you know, the pick and roll game in, in the NBA is, you know, 60, 70%, whatever it is. And if your four man can dive, but also pick and pop, and, and shoot the ball, drive the ball, and make quick decision plays. Um, that's what we saw in that workout against bigger guys. And that, that did make a difference. That, believe it or not, that workout was really important to us. And I don't know if it was 20% of it or 30% of it, but it was an important workout. I think local fans will wonder about y Yogi Ferrell or other point guards. Did you just see point guard as not really being a need given the Rashi you have currently? Was was Georgie more of a need type of player? I think Georgie was. I mean, the way the way we watch the finals and teams that are going deep into the to the playoffs, that that spread for is, has been something we've really longed for. So um, that was really important to us, Mark.